Well, welcome to the AP Physics Workbook tutorial. Here we have Unit 4, Work and Energy. The section is 4.N, Potential Energy of the System. Here you could read the scenario to yourself. The first question is how much work is done on the spring object system when while attached the spring to the center of the object. Well, this is when the object is at equilibrium. Then this, oh, someone had to put work in it to stretch it. So they're all connected in the middle, right? So how much work is being done? Well, we know it has to be positive because energy is actually coming into the system. Each spring, the delta x is equal to three cent, um, three meters. So there's three in, there's three, not three inches, three meters of is how much it's is the straight is the st stretch length. In each situation, the work is equal to the change in the spring's potential energy. You can write W is equal to delta U spring. That is, work is equal to the change in the spring's potential energy. The initial spring energy is the initial spring energy is zero. At the start, there was no potential energy. The object was at rest. It was at equilibrium. Next, the spring potential can be defined by one half k delta x squared but we already know delta x here is equal to the value of three the k it says it right here spring constant is two plug it in you get the answer of three joules of work to move one of this by three meters you did three joules of work the entire system did a total of 20 um did a total of 27 joules of work how i got that is i had three joules here times three joules here times three joules here three times three times three is 27 it's not nine you're not adding these together all right in the second figure we see that the spring is now stretched at a different length all right so C is uh, stretched to 2.0, um, B is stretched to 6.8, and A is stretched to 1.0, right? And now you want to see if in this situation, if the work from here, from figure one to figure two, if there is work being done positively, negatively, or no work is being done to the system. So basically, did it lose energy or did it gain energy? All right, so at the start, the springs are at equilibrium where the system energy level is at three joules. Okay. Each spring is stretched to a different level. So the first one had a, uh, the change in X for C was one because it went from one to two, uh, change in the distance for the B would be 5.8 because it went from one to 6.8. And for A, it was four because it goes from one to f uh, one to five, right? Because remember, this is the initial state. Now we look at the work for each spring. So the first one, you plug it in, you get one joule. For the second one, which is B, you get 3.364 joules. And for the third one, you get 16 joules of energy. You add them together, right? The work from here, work from here, work from here you get 50.64 joules of energy, right? All right, then once we add these together, we can do a division by the energy in figure two was 50.64 joules and we minus that from the figure one, which was 27 joules. So it was 50.64, which is the new one, minus 27 joules, which is comes from here, and that gets you 23.64 joules. Notice that that is positive. So to go from figure one to figure two, the system needs to gain 63.62 joules of energy from the outside. Therefore, 
positive work must be done to the system for it to gain that extra 223.62 joules of energy. All right. Now, I did make a little mistake because this is actually correct. So let me go back up here and redo this. So this is actually incorrect. All right. If you do the math here at this step, you get W is equal to this cancel, you get 3 squared. So W is equal to 9. So if you add this, so this each one is 9 joules. So this is wrong. It's not it's not 3 joules. Each spring has 9 joules of energy being worked done on it. Okay? And if you add 9 joules plus 9 joules plus 9 joules, so there are three total spring, three total springs, so three springs times 9 joules, right, is 27 joules of work of it, work done. So that is the correct word, okay? And again, from here, we did it individually and we got their individual work. Once you subtract it, you saw that the this the final energy minus the initial energy was 23.64. So there was more energy in the second figure for it to gain energy. Work has to be done to it. So we would say here there is positive work being done into this system. All right, and there you go.